everyone and welcome back to the virtual classroom where we look, listen and learn together. I had made some clay stars. You can see the star there. Hmm. I put some patterns on these stars and these stars were forming the Southern Cross which appears in the sky. It's a constellation in the night sky. It's made up of five different stars, big stars form that constellation. I thought maybe I would thread these stars onto a piece of string. So I made them out of clay so they're now dry but before they dried I put a little hole in the middle there so that I could thread it. So if you're making something with clay before it dries you can poke a little hole in it and then you can thread it onto something. Before I thread it I might paint these stars with some silver and maybe even a yellow base as well to make them really bright. There we go. Paint those ones and then I might use a little brush to paint the silver as well. I've got this beautiful silver, it's like satin acrylic paint. You can see that it starts to bring it really to life, that silver colour there. Go. Painted metallic y silver colour. You might like to buy some metallic paint, or borrow some from a friend. There we go. Makes them really feel like you're in a night sky using metallic colours. And when you're using your clay, you can use natural materials to make some patterns. I used a pine cone to make some of the patterns on these beautiful stars and some gum nuts to create some patterns because nature actually pr produces a lot of different objects that have symmetrical shapes and patterns in them and you can find shapes in nature like triangles or circles, squares I can just leave these to dry, keep painting and I've already threaded this one on and you might get a bit of paint on your fingers but that's okay. There we go and might even add a little bit more of those yellowy colours and dot them on on there to make another pattern. See how I put the colour just in the middle there, maybe even a yellow circle in the middle of that one, some yellow dots on that one too, because stars appear in the sky sort of like a yellow colour, don't they? They sort of golden, silver, beautiful pearl colours. There we go. So I have my thread here and you can see that one's hanging already. And now all I have to do is very carefully thread it through like that and then I stop it and I tie it off. This is sort of just going to be a beautiful piece to hang, maybe from a door to catch some of the light. Those two stars. And we've got three more stars to thread on. There we go. Ooh, down it falls. This is good for your finger muscles, a good activity to learn how to tie a knot as well. If you don't know how to tie a knot, it's a good way to practice. There's three. You might like to make this for someone that you know to tell them that you're thinking of them sort of a nice way to make make something to share with someone because sometimes you can just go to the store and buy something but it's actually really lovely when you make something for someone because it means that you really care you've put a lot of effort in and I'm sure people would appreciate something handmade there we go a hanging star constellation. 
and it sort of dances when you hang it. It's dancing in the wind. It's twinkle, twinkle, little stars, way up high. There you go. You might like to thread your clay stars onto a piece of string. You can make a mobile like this that hangs Maybe hangs from a doorway or from the roof. Maybe you could shine a light on it and see if it glistens and glows in the, in the light. You could even wear it around your neck like that. Wear it like a necklace. Hope you have a nice time threading some of your clay stars or your Play-Doh stars that you might have let dry. Maybe you can paint them as well with any paints you have. Colour them in, give them a bit of shine. I'll see you next time.